Hello, good morning, happy Thursday. How is everyone doing today? Thank you for tuning in to the YMCA of Greater Toronto YouTube channel. My name is Lily and I'm the Director of Programs at the Scarborough YMCA. And I come here joining live, joining you live here from my home for Body Fit Gentle. I hope you're all very excited, ready to go, ready to get moving. So in terms of equipment, what you are looking at today, you will be looking at some hand weights, so something comfortable for you to grip in your hands if you don't have dumbbells or wrist weights, water bottles or canned soup or canned goods act as great resistance. Depending on the size will depend on the weight. But the most important part is that you have something that you can uh, grasp comfortably in your hands. I also have a mat prepared for some exercises that we will be performing on the ground. If you don't have a mat, a towel is perfectly fine or just the carpet. What makes you feel comfortable? All right. So if you were just tuning in again, my name is Lily and I'm the director of programs at the Scarborough YMCA and this is Body Fit Gentle. I'd also like to give a quick shout out about Happy Pride. So Happy Pride everyone. The month of June we are uh, we celebrate Pride Month. And this week we are actually celebrating Pride Week on our YouTube and our Facebook lives. Um, and we together we're celebrating Pride Month with all our friends in the 2SLGBTQ plus community. And Pride is uh, where we can be loud and we can be proud and we can all celebrate and have fun together. So I'm very excited. You can see we are, I'm actually dressed in this beautiful color shirt. Um, I will share details in how if you're interested in purchasing a, um, a wonderful pride shirt um, how you can do that at the end of the class so once again let me just do a quick check in the time we have 30 seconds so give your space a quick little scan and ensure that there are no falling or tripping debris and most important part, if you are brand new to a body fit gentle class, bring your smile, have some fun, take everything at your own pace, take a break, join back in when you're ready, and we're just going to have some fun, 30 minutes of fun. So 11 a.m. to 11.30, let's head on over to our space. I just saw that Christine has logged on, so Christine is our tech support. If you have any questions, you can type it in and Christine will be there. She'll be able to answer. Uh, it's sometimes hard for me to run to the screen and, um, and catch the, the comments. So let's get ready. Let's get going. Once again, the equipment we are looking at weights, canned soup, canned goods, water bottle, hand weights, entirely up to you, and mat. All right, let's get started. So bring your smile and join me for some fun. Oh, geez. And of course, these, we have our water bottle to keep us hydrated throughout the class. Okay, so I have a great track. Let's get started with our warm up. Here we go. So I always like to start off with four feet. Hip width apart, belly button drawn in tight, shoulders away from your ears, neck nice and long. Okay, here we go. Start with your hips, belly button tight, so your feet are firmly planted to the ground. I've got some shoulders. Push your palms to the ground. There we go. Four, four, three, two, let's add a little tap. So one, two, three, tap. Take it one, two, three, tap. Take it 
one, two, three, tap, one. Step, touch only. So I'm going a little slower. If you would like to pick up the pace, it would look something like this, okay? Reach your arms up to the sky, up. So keep your heart proud, double arms. Heel tape, here we go. Tap your heel to the front. Feel free to shake them all if you like. Let's add some bicep curl. Single, single, double. Take it single. Single. Double. Yep. Single, single. Single. Double. Again, again. Single. Single. And you can move a little deeper. Last time. Here we go. Single. Single. Double. Last time on the other side. Single. Single. Double. Let's toe tap out. Side to side. Single it out. So you're tapping your toes. Point. Again, the pace is entirely up to you, all right? Let's take it to chest height. I'm gonna bring it back to slow, but you listen to your body. If you'd like to get your heart rate a little higher, and you feel that I'm moving a little too slow, just take it to tempo. Four, three, two, single, single, double, single, single. Double. Again, again. Single. Single. Double. Reach the arms up. Single it out. Woo! Woo! Really give it a nice reach. Let's take it back to a march. Now we're gonna take our hands to our ankles, lifting off the ground. Lift. Option. So you really have to find your balance. Hands to the heels, take it back. So even with this movement, our core remains tight and strong, yeah, huh? Good. March it out. So again, pace is up to you. We're gonna get ready to travel left and right. We're gonna begin with two steps. Here we go. Two steps. Back. Take it down. Optional, we can take it to a grapevine. Step behind, step, tap. Step behind, step, tap. Again, step behind, step, tap. Step behind, march it out. Deep breath in. Exhale, one more time, deep breath. Let's go into our spring. So we are going to start off with our canned goods. If you don't have the canned goods or if the canned goods or the weight becomes too heavy, you have the option of just using your own body weight. We're gonna try to combine upper body and lower body, but I'm gonna break them down before I combine them together, all right? Let's begin with our squats, taking your feet shoulder width apart, pointing your toes out just a little bit. Now imagine sitting in a chair, you're gonna hinge at your hips, sink your hips down, knees remain behind the 
toes, tummy tight, squeeze back up. I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see what it looks like. Heart proud, take it down. It can be a half squat or it can be all the way down, okay? Up to you. We're gonna go slow. And you can always take it at your own pace. The goal here really is to keep your heart proud. Keep your belly button drawn in and really squeeze the bottom. You're taking it down. Down for four, three, four. Take it up. Two, three. Squeeze that top. Down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three. Two more. You got this. Tummy tight, only as low as you feel comfortable. Squeeze, last bit. Up, two, three, and squeeze. Give your legs a nice little shake. Weights in hand. Gonna bring it up to about shoulder height. Knees are soft and slightly bent. Belly button drawn in. You're gonna press it over your shoulders, over your head. Bring it back down. So I'm gonna to turn to my side. You can see my arms. The weight comes in front of my face or in front of my head rather than behind. So you listen to your body where you feel comfortable, okay? Single it out, one at a time. Press it up. And remember, keeping your shoulders Neck nice and long. Tummy tight. Very good. Arms down, shake it out. Are we ready to combine the both? Your squat and your shoulder presses together. So let's hinge down into a squat. Tummy tight, squeeze your bottom, press your feet into the ground and transition the weight to the upper body. Bring it back down. Tummy tight. You got it. So I'm gonna time this. It's as many as you can perform in the next 15 seconds, okay? Form and technique is key. If you feel that you can move a little faster with Good form. Go right ahead. Five seconds more. Let's squeeze in just one more rep. Ah, amazing. Shake out. Shake it out. Whew. You probably felt your heart rate elevating a little bit. Anytime we place weight over our head, we elevate our heart rate. So feel free to grab a sip of water if you need to. I'm going to demonstrate the next exercise. Again, the option is there to utilize the weights if needed. We are going to take it to a lunge. You're gonna lunge back or step back. You're gonna step back. Rather than having one leg behind the other, imagine train tracks, so stagger. Shoulders back, tummy is tight. Sink your back knee down, and you're aiming for alignment. Ears over shoulders, over your hips, over your back, back knee. Squeeze back up, okay? Down and up. Join in when you are ready. Tummy is nice and tight, and you are only lowering as far as you feel comfortable. Remember, if stability is a little challenging, or balance is a little challenging, Feel free to lose the weight and uh, move towards a wall or a chair for some support in balance. Let's go for two more on this side. Nice and proud in your heart. Step forward, switch legs. So shoulders back, tummy is tight, sink down, squeeze back up. I'll turn to my side again down and up. Again, if a half lunge is where you are, 
just work at that, you will become stronger. The goal really is to focus on your torso. Keep your heart nice and proud, belly button drawn in, the knee that is hovering over remains behind your toes. One more, squeeze up. Let's give the legs a little break. And let's practice our upper body. We're gonna take it to bicep curls. Shoulders back, feet hip width apart, arms, palms facing forward, tuck your elbows in, squeeze up to the shoulders, down to your upper thigh. Now remember to create the resistance. So imagine this weight is so heavy that you have in your arms. Resist it up, resist it down. Making it just a little more challenging. Five seconds more. And even in the standing position, I'm keeping my core tight and strong, bottom squeeze tight. Nicely done. Are we ready to combine the two? How is everyone feeling? Are we good? Here we go. Step the leg back. So we'll stay on one side for 15 seconds and then we'll move to the other. Shoulders back, tummy tuck. I'm actually going to change that to 30 seconds. So at your own pace, take it down on your way up, curl. Only as low as you feel comfortable. Now if you feel combining the lower body and the upper body is a little too much, coordination could be challenging sometimes. Just focus on either the lower or the upper, okay? Form is key, breathing is key. <laughs> and then just join right back. Let's step forward, switch leg. Shoulders back, core strong, elbows tucked in. This time let's turn our palms so that they're facing each other. Elbow is still tucked into the side of the body. Take it down, bicep curl up. So we're still working the biceps. These are the front of the upper arms. Take it to your shoulders and then down. There we go. The knee in front, ensure that it tracks behind your toes. So you're going straight down, straight up. Five seconds. You've got this. Step forward, shake out. Whoa. Let's take a quick break. Grab a sip of water. I also always say sip it. It's better for the body. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Sandra. I'm so glad you're tuning in. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad you're doing well. I feel good, I feel good, and I hope you do too. Shoulders back. Now we're gonna take our leg out to the side. So find your balancing supporting leg. Ground your foot, soft knee in the supporting leg. The leg that will be moving, you're gonna squeeze your bottoms, core is strong, and lift. Back down. Now if lifting the leg is too much, you may always slide it out and back in. Slide out and back in. So again, the two options are sliding the moving leg out and in, or adding that lift. Check your body alignment, ensuring you're not leaning to the side. Keep strong in your core. So the lift is not a high one. Switch it over, other side. You'll start to feel it along the side. As Ground our supporting leg, soft bend in the knee, core is strong, nice and proud. Option is to slide out or lift. So I tend to like to move in different planes. We have the forward, we have the plane that divides forward and back. We have a plane that divides left and right. And then we have a plane that divides us up and down. And by balancing out our movement, these are all movements that we, we naturally move in. So these planes, so I just like to challenge it. One more. Great stuff, so shake it out. So that movement divided our movement for forward or the front and our back. 
So here we go. Arm to the opposite opposite thigh. Shoulders back. Squeeze it back up. So this movement is a little combination of both. A little bit of up and down. A little bit of left and right. Now the key with this movement is your belly button is tight. You squeeze your shoulder blades first before you start moving the limbs, okay? When you get to the top, give your shoulder blades a nice little extra squeeze. Back down, let's switch it over to the other side. Opposite palm to the opposite thigh, shoulders back nice and proud, squeeze back. You've got it. Always going to be cueing form, so try to keep your neck long. Make no check your shoulders, ensuring that they're not creeping up to your ears. And always keeping tight in the core. Squeeze your bottoms a bit. Take it to one more. Nice, nice. Shake it out. Are we ready to combine the two? I hope so. So this does move into a little more balance. Listen to your body, whether it be sliding your leg out and in or the lift, okay? And you can always do a combination of just the lower body or just the upper or alternating, okay? Shoulders back, here we go. It's gonna be opposite arm and opposite thigh, opposite leg. So here we go, squeeze and lift. You will have to transfer the weight a little bit to that supporting leg. And when you lift up, give your arm and the opposite leg a nice little reach, add a little pause. Remember to squeeze your shoulder blades before lifting your arm. Squeeze your bottoms before lifting your leg. Keep your tummy tight. Add that little pause at the top. Last one, hold, release. Take it to the other side. Here we go. So the option is there is to slide the leg out or add the lift. Tommy tight. So imagine a wall behind you. It's almost as if you're sliding the leg along the wall to the side, and then you're allowing your arms, the back of your arms, to tap the wall. And I really like this exercise because it challenges our mind in terms of coordination. <laughs> Add a little pause at the top, hold, tummy is tight, Shoulders are down, heart is proud, release, shake it out. Let's give our weights a little break. Continuing on with some balancing exercises. I'm gonna turn to my side for this one so you can better see. With one leg, so nice and proud, always beginning with form and alignment. With one leg, you're gonna slide it back. Tap the toe, squeeze your bottom, return. Slide back, tap the toe. With your arms, you're gonna either reach it to chest or shoulder height and return. Or if you feel comfortable, a little bit higher. Up to you, step back. Now if you feel good with the lower body, you can add a squeeze to the bottom and lift. Yes. Supporting leg. Knee remains soft and slightly bent. Foot grounded. If you feel strong here, we're gonna add a little movement. Hinging at your hips, leading with your heart. Yes, there we go. Only as far as you feel comfortable. So nice and proud, hinge and reach. Release. Try to reach your arms and your leg in opposite direction, keeping strong in your core. Whew. Let's go for one more. Release. 
Other side, here we go. Shoulders back, let's start with the lower body. Point the toe. So a few things we're thinking of here. Core is strong, squeezing the bottom. Heart is proud. Let's add the arms. Shoulder height or above the head. If you feel good here, add a little lift in the leg. Yes. Please work at your own pace. Balance is different for everyone. And this is why we spend a little more time performing these exercises. If you feel good here, add that hinge and reach. Tummy tight. Hinge and reach. So again, working at your own pace, we have about 20 seconds. Take your time. Even if you would like to hold the balance a little longer to challenge your muscles, that is perfectly fine. So we're not just working our core, we're not just working our arms or our legs or our glutes. We have little muscles in our feet as well that play and come into play with balance. So you might start to feel some of the muscles working. Let's go for one more. Squeeze, reach. Release, lots of muscles firing in around the feet. All right, taking your feet hip width apart, take it to some shoulder exercises, bringing it back to the upper body, elbows tucked in, shoulders back, tummy is tight. Take it out. Knees are soft and slightly bent. So we won't be heading down onto the mat today, but I promise I'll have great exercises for you next week. Hold here, release, lift the elbows up. Shoulder height, tummy tight. How's everyone doing? Hi, Nazia. So good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Hold here. You're aligned. Take it up. So again, just check your shoulders. Sometimes this movement you'll feel in your shoulders as well. You shouldn't. Might be easier to do one at a time. Keep your belly button tight. All right, let's hold it here. Imagine your arm against the wall. Let's slide up and down. And for this one, for sure, sometimes the shoulders, if it's tight, if you've had an injury, your shoulders may want to creep up. So just try it one at a time, okay? Or don't reach as far up to the sky. Tummy tight, come on, pull your rib cage in. Let's go for five seconds more. And these are great exercises you can perform on your own. Hold here, hands to the back of your head. Bring your elbows forward and squeeze your shoulder blades as you open your heart up. Yes, watch the shoulders, release. Working with intention, so lots to think about, but I want to make it as easy as possible for you. So tummy is tight, shoulders back and down, squeeze your shoulder blades as you open your elbows wide, hold, release. Let's go for two more. Hold, watch your head, ensure it's still aligned, release. One more. Amazing, shake it out, give yourself a nice little hug. Just one more before we move into stretches. So you may return your hands back to your head or if you prefer across your chest or just rest it on the side. Bring your feet back in so that they're about hip width apart, belly button drawn in. And we're just moving side to side. So once again, imagine that wall behind you. You're just sliding your upper body side to side. 
So we're not looking to lean forward. Try to keep your heart proud, tummy tight. Side to side. Five seconds more. Great stuff. Shake, shake, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. All right, let's take it to some stretching music. Nice and easy. Wall or chair for support if needed. Let's take one leg back. Bend the back knee, pelvis forward. I love this stretch as it stretches out my hip, hip flexors. Tends to be very tight through sitting, walking. Reach and open your heart up. Press your heels down, feeling this gentle stretch in your calves. Listen to your body, keeping your heart proud. Step forward, other side, big step back, bend your back knees, pelvis forward. Open your heart up, this time reaching your arms up. Focus on breathing deep, allowing the oxygen to reach the muscles you've just worked. Heel down. And up, taking one leg over the other, hinging forward, lead with your heart, and just hold. Feel a stretch along the side. Inhale, back up, leaning over. Back to center, let's switch it over this time. Other leg in front, hinge at your hips, open your heart up, and just a tiny movement, you'll feel it stretching along the side. Back up, and over. Turning back up, option is there, wall or chair for support, heel to the ground, once again hinge, this is a stretch for the back of the upper leg, up, other side, so I tend to when I'm stretching on my own, tend to like to hold our stretches for 15 to 30 seconds, Performing a couple of sets, but for time's sake, we are shortening it a little bit. So please remember to continue stretching after the class. Shake your legs out, reaching your arms up and over. Once again, breathing here along the side. Other side, here we go. Release, take one big circle back, moving nice and slow. Again, one more circle, large circle back. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, once more, deep breath in. Exhale, shake it out. Ears over your shoulders, over your hips, knees, and ankles. Fabulous job, everyone. Thank you, thank you for joining me today. How are you feeling? Did anyone break a sweat? <laughs> I did, just a little bit, but I definitely feel more limber. So I really enjoy teaching this class. Sandra, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Christine? Pat and Lori, if you're joining me, or Marie, if you're joining me, or Huma, if you're joining me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so happy 
to be here all with you. We are almost through this. We are in phase two. Hopefully we will be open, opening in phase three. Not sure, but hopefully that is soon. But for the meantime, keep showing up for your workouts. Even if it's revisiting the videos, um, just to keep yourself moving. That is so important for our body. Keep yourself hydrated now that the weather is warmer. And thank you so much, everyone. This really has been a pleasure and, and it really is an honor to be able to tune on to the YouTube channel to work with you. So everyone, once again, happy pride. If you are interested in purchasing this lovely Pride shirt, we are selling it on our YMCA Pride store, uh, YMCA store. It is a Pride shirt. All the proceeds will go towards our COVID response fund, which will allow us to continue to serve the community in multiple ways. So visit www.ymcagtastore.ca and you can place your order there. So once again, thank you. I really hope you enjoy your day. Enjoy your Thursday in Toronto. The sun is shining bright and I hope you shine as bright as the sun. So keep shining. Have a great day. Bye-bye.